Uh, there he goes. Okay, thank God. I was I was wondering when it would pop up. Uh, <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, y'all y'all can't hear it. I forgot. Uh, but it does it does it does play the smoke weed every day song, which is it so does funny. play the funny song. Yeah, it does yeah, play yeah. the pot song. Blessed be to, uh, to Mr. Dog and his brilliant music. Mr. Dog. <laughs> Mr. Dog. <laughs> Please, Mr. Dog was my father's hey. name. Call hey. me Snoop. What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, Wes. Aye. And our actual lawyer, Princh. I have a sore throat. If I don't talk a ton this episode, that's why. That's because on this day, Princh has been, Princh has been smoking the weed, folks. It, oh, my God. We, we are, that's in fact... The- Recording that's what happens when you smoke weed you just get a sore throat <laughs> that's all that's that's why people, i wonder why people do it then <laughs> yeah it wasn't from actually smoking it was just because Pridge has been singing the smoke weed song a whole bunch uh-huh. and that's been making his throat sore to celebrate folks if you like this stream you can catch it live on twitch.tv slash save data team several or not several nights throughout the week we stream several nights throughout the week but you can catch it on wednesday nights at 7 30 p.m eastern time and hey, if you'd like to support us, head over to patreon.com slash save data team where you can throw us a couple of bucks, just like our producers, Bandicoot Commando, Kadabe, Antiluster, Fafilla, Sibylla, Halucha, Rick Rat, Ace73, Jadwap, Shadow Nami, Dessert Boy Man, Sunayama, Mystic Woody, Burger Bun, HSM, Nicole, Les, Kevin Asian, Traveling in a Box, Soapy, Arky, and Urn have all done. Uh, and yeah, folks, in case you missed it, this weekend we put up the first part of a uh, compilation video of the first game we played together uh, up on our YouTube. It's currently, I believe, over 5,000 views. So thank you all who have watched it. Uh, and if you haven't, go check it out because it is wild to see this series' origins. Uh, yeah. Our, or- our origin story. It's, it's, exactly. at, uh, it's at 7.7 thousand 7, right wow. now. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say it's way, it's way over. Oh, that's pretty good. you said. Uh, and also... It's, it's, it's funny because like I don't normally go back and watch our content uh yeah just because i lived it but <laughs> i i went through and watched all of that it's actually it's a lot of fun yeah. so if you guys get to check it out please do because i as someone who usually doesn't watch our content back i was watching it and i was like oh fuck we're yeah. kind of funny sometimes yeah. <laughs> what what happened to us we used to be so good i know jeez <laughs> we occasionally can cause a chuckle uh and uh yeah also in case you missed it did upload the the full finesse lore video uh oh, yeah it is super bonkers but really really fun and amazing uh thank you again to all the artists who sent in work for that because it turned out super good i think and i'm really proud of it oh, yeah. also it's really uh, good shout out to wes's voice acting in it because he did a great job as well go watch it go watch it for no other reason, just to learn a bunch of different words for butt. It's true. I like, pulled out all true. stops on that one. It's just true. Just you will never need a thesaurus. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't yeah, no. Ever again. I, yeah, yeah. That, that should be a one sh- your one-stop booty shop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start playing the video game. Uh, actually, what the fuck did we just do? <laughs> We got, uh, okay. We got information from him. Oh God, yeah. yeah. Look at the court record. Oh yeah, we have jack shit. What the <laughs> fuck? I thought we did way more than this. Uh, no, because we don't have the Magatama. We found one talk. magazine in the restaurant, one yeah. magazine at the oh at the vitamins park. park. Yeah. We basically learned from Gumshoe that the uh, that Armstrong's hiding something. Oh yes, yeah, so we're gonna go talk to Armstrong. Yeah, that was pretty. But much don't it. we already know that because he has a sight clock on him? Yeah, I mean, y- yes, Pridge. <laughs> yes. But Gumshoe doesn't know that we don't know that. <laughs> the scent of flowers sure is strong. It's almost making me dizzy. Fuck, oh. I forgot about this character. Yeah, I forgot wow. about her. Hello, head, head trauma Henrietta. 
I was, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I'm gonna say, Pritch, what are hello. your thoughts on this character design? I mean, I feel bad because she seems to have some head trauma. Well, don't we all? <laughs> yeah, I got hit over the head with a fire extinguisher, and now I have amnesia. Oh my god, you too? We have so much in common. <laughs> we should be best friends. We just become best friends. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, um, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Who is well, it was going? Nice meeting you. Who was that just now? A customer? A customer. She had a sort of dark aura about her. Ah, welcome, B Avenue. Wow, what a cute voice. God damn. <laughs> uh, there you go. Oh, it's just you, Nick. I appreciate that they're both like, ah, oh, it's just Maya. Ah, oh, it's Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Maya? Well? How do I look? Uh, maybe you should quit B. Oh, okay, that's actually a compliment. Uh, yeah. Maybe well, you should quit. I mean, it's, you, you know. Bit of a backhand. Well, wait, there's, there's, yeah. there's, 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 there's some uncomfortable there, layers so he, on that one. There's still, there's still good chance for him to ruin this after that ellipsis. Yeah, that's true. Maybe you should quit being a spirit medium. Maybe. But it's kind of boring being a waitress. I mean, you're my first ever customer. Then who is the woman? I mean, I didn't, you, didn't you get hired like 20 minutes yeah, ago? Yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> then who is that woman I just saw? Oh, oh! If you're here, you might as well have something to eat. I am kind of hungry, actually. <laughs> hungry for justice. <laughs> Good callback already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how do you like your new job, Maya? She's been I here for five were... minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew there was so much for a waitress to do. Take people's orders, bring them food, make coffee, work the cash register. Of course, we need a customer before I can do any of that. That's four things, Maya. Also, Maya, <laughs> you're right. There is no unskilled labor. <laughs> I mean, you're right, but I love to say there's so much to do. Here's four had... things that obviously every waitress does. Yes. <laughs> All I had to do was empty my mind of everything but fine dining and breathing. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice looking restaurant. It's a shame more people don't come. Don't forget about the ultra cute waitress. Check there's out an my ultra, there's an tip ultra cute waitress here. God. Where? Where? <laughs> Damn. 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 Check out my give me a tip smile. Hey Nick, why don't you order something? Chef's preparing a tasty lunch set at the moment. Or so he says. How much is it? It's the twin tea set. So it's $20, of course. The twin tea set? <laughs> I'm sorry, maybe my head's just on the 9-11 joke set right now, and I'm like, oh my god. You can't, oh my god. You can't oh my call god. it that. <laughs> Jack, no. I'm sorry, folks. <clears throat> Ever since that TikTok <laughs> blew up for us. <laughs> Did that TikTok blow up? Hey, it's the most popular TikTok we've done in like two months, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll play it on screen right now. Everybody our age remembers where they were when they first saw the fucking Rock Lee fight. You know? I was in college. <laughs> it's, it's our generation's 9-11, all right? <laughs> we all... <laughs> 9-11 is our generation's 9-11. That joke was funny. Fuck you. No, no, you're a hero. Rock Lee. Oh, my God. The Twin Tower set? I believe I'll be taking oh a pass. God. It's kind of expensive. I mean... 20, 20 bucks is kind of expensive if, if you're not living in like a major city. What? But you can't. Come on, Nick. It's not every day I get to be a waitress. I mean, do we know what it comes with? Yeah, that's true. It could yeah, be like I was going to say, lunch. what is it? 
I mean, like, does it come with a drink? Does it come with like, cause you, like, 20 bucks for just a meal is not something I like to do unless I'm truly eating at, eating at a fancy restaurant. Do I get a toy? <laughs> I want to try carrying plates and working the cash register. How about cleaning the toilets? That should keep you busy. Yeah, why don't you clean up your own shit from now on, Maya? <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe later. Um, about the lunch. Oh, a fine choice, sir. No, I, uh... Well, there goes 20 bucks. Kitchen! Oh, a lunch <laughs> special, please! <laughs> With all the extras! Drink, side salad, dessert, and a gift. Oh, there is a gift. There's a see, toy. Yeah, see, if I get yeah. all of those, then yeah, I'll pay 20 bucks oh for that. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah we, get it. we get a present. I don't need any of that. I do imagine Maya shouting like she's at a diner, like, two skis ball with an extra side of schlatch. Schlatch. I couldn't think of shit on that one. No, that's okay. Those are some, those are some Rick and Morty words. Yeah, exactly. I don't need any of that. Just a moment, please, sir. Maya's really getting into this. Maybe I can finally get rid of her. So how much? Uh, so how much is this set lunch then? Twenty dollars, huh? But with the drink, side salad, and dessert, it's forty-five dollars. Okay. Oh, no. now this deal sucks. Yeah, no, this is terrible. Hey, wait a sec, Maya. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. Here you are, our deluxe fortified lunch set. Whoa. Dish inspired by lobster and abalone fricassee with balsamic vinaigrette. I don't know what abalone is. I do. Yeah. I like that it's inspired by lobster. <laughs> what is, what is it's imitation lobster. <laughs> it's inspired uh, by lobster. Oh, oh it's, abalone it's, is a uh, cargo. It's as yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shit, Applebee's Bees Bees says, wait, the lobster, this is Carol. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> you just pan over and I'm the other waiter. <laughs> <laughs> I delivered lobster to the table next to Phoenix, right? Oh, hello, Miss Blanchett. Please take a seat. <laughs> You'll be my Bone second ever. This is my Bone second ever customer. <laughs> Wait, how Own did you... ape tit. Okay, thank you. I was like, you're gonna say this wrong, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks. Come on, Nick. Hurry up and try it already. Lobster, huh? All right, down the hatch it goes. Ugh. Well. Are you hungry, Maya? I'm starving. Here, it's yours. <laughs> really? Remember, Maya, my wallet doesn't print money, so you better polish off that plate. Hey. Or else. Hey. Now, Phoenix is just uh? making more work for himself later when he has to clean the toilet. Oh, again. no. <laughs> I've just remembered. I've got to go clean those toilets. Hey. <laughs> You can't be in that much of a hurry to clean the toilets. <laughs> they really love this toilet cleaning. Yeah, they're really it's so game. funny to them. Like I know we're making a lot of this of that toilet poop joke, but for them, but like they're they talk really about doing cleaning it. the toilets a lot. Yeah. We're just finishing the joke, guys. <laughs> How does that guy manage to make good food taste so bad? Hey Nick, you want to take a peek at the kitchen? The kitchen, huh? Not a bad idea. Well, let's talk about it first, though. Hmm. Now, what was it that Maggie said again? In the kitchen, you get to see all the chef's greatest secrets? In the kitchen? Hmm. That sounds tasty. What? Where were... Did you miss the last 20 minutes of what just happened? What? What a weird I was response. Paying, I wasn't paying attention. Hey, w wait up, Maya. What is it? I'm pretty busy right now with no, you're no not. customers. <laughs> you just said you have no customers. Weren't you going to show me around? Uh, there goes my plan to find some cool clue and show it off in your face. I better conduct the search in the kitchen myself. Okay. <laughs> 
Uh, that we actually go to the kitchen. Yeah, me too. Uh, before we do that, let me uh, catch up with the chat again. <clears throat> uh, Fluffcuff cheered two bits saying, shouldn't Phoenix have recognized Maya's voice? Yeah, probably. Uh, Shades on a Punky Chit 100 You're talking saying, about <laughs> it. Was, it was Swedish guy for a second. Yeah. Well, Shades on a Punky Chit 100 bits saying, does that confirm that Maya became the Swedish chef? <laughs> Your skibber skidder! Uh, Goosey Gander are cheered a bit saying, Wait, what's your name, young lady? Uh, Shoperation just followed. Evanescence cheered five bits saying, You can't. Oh, the Evanescence? Wake me up! Wake me up! Wake me up! up. Can't wake up! Uh, saying, You can't wear perfume in a restaurant kitchen because the aromatics get into the food and make it taste awful. Armstrong is unknowingly sabotaging himself. That's actually a great point and probably why. It is a really good point, actually, yeah. yeah. You'd never want to over-perfume yourself or uh, cologne or whatever. Fluff FG5 bits saying, whenever a character fades away, it makes me think that the meme where the guy pieces out and fades away. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Dan Gaming Fan cheered 5 bits saying, Can't attend tonight. Please say hi to LT Gray for me. Will do, Dan. T stay good. Stay well. Uh, C Jam cheered it, 2 bits saying, frosty. Oh my god. Saying, it, that TikTok it blew up, boy. Zach. Really? Okay. <laughs> wow, Zach. Wow. <clears throat> Zach, wow. Zach is canceled for yeah. the umpteenth time, that's, everybody. That's fair. Uh, Taco Sensei, give this yeah. sub. Thank you very much. <laughs> Dessert Boy Man cheered five bits saying, we can tell y'all are from a landlocked state because none of you recognize shellfish. I mean, I'm not from a landlocked, I mean, we're not from a landlocked state though. But I lived in, I lived there. Oh yeah, technically. Yeah. I mean, kind of got a lake above count me. The great yeah. Lake, so. I mean, we I have get a Lake it, Erie. Like, uh, Fluff Guff cheered have a bit. The Erie Lake. Saying Phoenix is trying to poison Maya again and Erling cheered another bit saying, do they really make their, do they really make their recurring jokes more often than we make ours? Absolutely not. All right, let's go to the kitchen. Oh, yeah, I, I do not remember this at all. And here it is, the famous Trey Bien Kitchen. It's my first time in here too, actually. Where the? Where did you get the food from? <laughs> <laughs> Did he bring it out to you, Ow. and then... Armstrong is actually a practitioner of Meekin's warp theory, so he's <laughs> able to warp the food to me. That's amazing. Why would you over-decorate your kitchen like this as well? Yeah, it's a bad... It's thing. also an insane fire hazard. Yeah, the, the curtains... Yeah, that's, bad that's, in that's over the ways. stove. It's bad the, in several the, ways. The lace over the stove <laughs> is terrible. Moogle in the chat says Gordon Ramsay's going to have a field day with this one. Yeah, oh, fucking you should do Gordon, Gordon Ramsay's Gordon, kitchen yeah, nightmares for this. Nightmares here. Fuck, that's such a good oh, bit. Well, that's I'm going to do an edit good. on this one. And you wonder why I don't like your sauce. That is a dead lobster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Do the idiot sandwich with uh, Armstrong's yeah. face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Or just get an actual clip from Kitchen Nightmares. Also, for you on YouTube, and he just screams on all of them. Is Armstrong not in here right now? Like, <laughs> what? yeah, I have no idea where he is. There's a weird atmosphere in here. That's for sure. Mr. Armstrong will be back. Will be back soon. Okay. So we better search quickly. Chop chop. Because uh -huh. uh, knives in the kitchen. <laughs> speaking of, I'm gonna stab you. <laughs> <laughs> Now I know I'm in a French restaurant. I've never heard of most of these seasonings. Salt, pepper. <laughs> Those are knives, Maya. <laughs> Look at all these seasonings, Nick. <laughs> Try one. <laughs> hey, Nick, this container has oyster sauce? What's that? It's when you... It's, what you, it's oyster juice. It's what you squeeze out of an oyster. <laughs> You know when you milk an oyster? Isn't that used in Chinese stuff. food? Is it? I mean, I'd argue it's used in any it's like in a lot cuisine of, that yeah. has oysters. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't eat a lot of food. Look, right there on the counter. Well, we've confirmed. Oi lawyers <clears throat> don't eat. They eat justice. So Fridge <laughs> doesn't really consume much human food. My Magatama! What's it doing here? What indeed? <laughs> it's a weird line for Phoenix. Also, that was a 
weird, like, we lost the Magatama. Oh, we found it in the kitchen 10 minutes later. Yeah. It was just a weird, it was a weird reasoning for them to delay us being able to question them. Right. Instead of just not letting us have the information to press them. Right. It's, it's a very weird decision. Yeah. Let's check out these bottles on the floor. What's this? It looks like a treasure chest or something. Wow! Look at all these little bottles! Oh, they're aromatherapy oils. He's got so many, they're overflowing onto the floor. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 98, 99, 100. They're all the same, too. Hey, wait a minute. What is it? There's one bottle that's different from all the others. Well, what do you know? And it... Well, what do you know? And it doesn't have a label, either. <clears throat> And doesn't smell. So what's that liquid inside then, I wonder? Try it. it. Stick no, out your tongue. It. Nick, eat it. <laughs> yeah. I ate it. Hey, Nick. <clears throat> I hey, ate Nick. it. You should borrow this. I mean, look how many bottles he's got. He won't miss one, will he? Sure. Small bottle of yeah. What's with this fucking vanity in the kitchen? Yeah, yeah. you know. Now the most this important is thing. one. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta look good while you're cooking. Mm -hmm. Now this is one large mirror. But this is where he makes himself look pretty. It's a book on the dresser. Clarice Armstrong's bedtime literature. <laughs> Not exactly Pulitzer Prize material, is it? it looks. How like do you know? Looks like a collection of poems he's written. Poems? Cool! Read one out. And say it in your best French accent. With intensity. Okay. Okay. Uh, here's one. <clears throat> it's called... Printemps. <laughs> <laughs> the two of them, like actors from a film, the coffee... Still undrunk, sweet nothings over too soon on that sad Sunday morning. The foolish cocktail, so delicious. Take the last sip of your tea, and I know that I know what I will do. I must lie to you, I must. Moost. Sorry, I messed up the last word. That uh, that huh? accent switched from Swedish to French to Borat so many times. <laughs> Honestly, that was My 10 wild. out of 10. That was, that, was, that was 10 out of 10, Zach. I, I applaud that. That was amazing. Huh? That's it? Yep. That's a poem for you. <laughs> <laughs> also, 20 bucks, he was describing the day of the murder. <laughs> oh, shit, Pridge, that's a good point. I didn't even think about that. I was too busy yeah, working on no. my bench. Yeah, I was going to say, I was lost in the <laughs> accent. <laughs> we're going to use that to prove that he knew there were two people at the table at some mm, point, somehow. Shit. Mm, that smells good. Something's bubbling away nicely in that pot. Must be the lobster and abalone fricassee with balsamic vinaigrette. Isn't that what I just ate for lunch? Maybe. What you ate is the only French dish I know the name of. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I don't really know if there's like another... We could look at this, but I feel like it's just going to be the same thing. What are these lace curtains oh. for? Oh, there we go. What are these lace curtains for? I don't know. But they give the place a real homey feel, don't they? Hmm. Lace curtains. No, oh, if I was a cooking pot, I'd be perfectly happy to sit on a shelf under those. What? What? How do you respond to something like that? <laughs> By saying what? <laughs> what the fuck, Maya? I think Maya's <laughs> high today. <laughs> Maya, are you celebrating funny weed number day? Uh, okay. I don't know what I don't know what day it is in this case. I but... feel like we've seen everything here. Uh. 
Oh, we might go back and... I don't know. Uh, hmm. I mean, you could go present the bottle to Gumshoe oh, or something. Oh, yeah, that's totally a good idea. Because, uh, I mean, we, we all know that it's absolutely poison, but... I mean... Uh, actually, before Gumshoe, we do... eat this. Gumshoe, eat this bottle, <laughs> and tell me what happens. <laughs> okay, pal. <laughs> okay, pal. I got gotcha. you. Wow, I was feeling really hungry. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I love eating strange liquids. No questions asked. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally my favorite activity. <laughs> Let me catch up with the chat really quick. In, in high school, I was voted most likely to drink strange liquids. <laughs> this will be the only thing I've eaten in days. <laughs> it's a miracle I'm still alive, pal. <laughs> <laughs> I've been subsisting on nothing but justice for a whole month. <laughs> okay, Gumshoe, what do you got for us? Hey, you're just in time. What is it, Detective Gumshoe? It's 420. <laughs> I just rolled this blunt here. I used an old newspaper. It's a I'm fucking sure huge one. A blunt. Be amazing. Lab got back to me about that newspaper you gave me. He must mean the sports paper with the memo scribbled, <clears throat> scribbled on it. Yeah, I mean, come on, of course. So, what did they say? Did the analysis turn up anything? It's definitely it's newspaper. He <laughs> <laughs> said the doodle was written by the victim, Glenn Elg. No doubt about it. No about to doubt it. <laughs> I expected as much. The victim took the paper with him to the restaurant on the day of the murder. It's our best interpretation of the facts at the moment. Okay. MC Bomber. I get the feeling I've heard that name somewhere before. Oh, oh did well. you watch Save Data's Pokemon Emerald? <laughs> Nuzlocke? luck. Oh my gosh, that's what it. Have you all checked out Save Data <laughs> and f liked, followed, and subscribed to all of their content on Twitter and uh, Facebook and YouTube? On Twitter. Well, I mean, we do. We do, we do have a Twitter. And we do have a Facebook page. We just never post. Yeah. Because it's Facebook. See, pal? Yeah, no I got you Facebook back. 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> Facebook is even 30 years old. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't, we don't want <laughs> we don't want Mark Zuckerberg sending our information to his alien overlords. <laughs> oh well, I guess it'll come back to me. Don't forget to report back to me when it with whatever you find in the restaurant, okay, pal? Since when did I start taking orders orders from Gumshoe? Although, I get the feeling there's something I need to show him. Oh, thank you, video game. Uh, take a look at this. I wonder, I wonder what it could be. You got one of those aroma bottles too, huh? Only this one doesn't smell. Huh? I don't get you. This was mixed with all the other aromatherapy bottles, but it's not the same. It doesn't even look the same. Wouldn't you agree? A cologne bottle that doesn't smell, huh? It smells like a skunk to me, pal. What? Let me borrow that bottle for a while. He just starts like putting it on his uh, his wrists and he's like, like <laughs> just dabbing it. He starts doing the rubbing your wrists together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Activate the smell. <laughs> I want to send it to the lab for analysis. The victim was poisoned, so the contents of this bottle are pretty important. I had a hunch there was something funny about that chef. Funny like clown funny, or funny like... Hey, uh... ha ha. <laughs> you suspect John Armstrong? I've got that guy's number. He gave it to me. It's 555-627. <laughs> I know what his secret is. And that must be the same secret Gumshoe was talking about before. Guess I'd better fill you in on the details. On the deets. About this Armstrong guy's secret, I mean. Okay. Wait, is the is the food in our court record? Yes. Uh, it sure is. Huh. It's Twenty dollars, despite how unbelievably bad it tastes. Damn, get roasted. Yeah. Food. So, what's Mr. Armstrong's secret? 
He's a member of What's QAnon. <laughs> Ever had lunch at Trey Bien, pal? Uh, yes. So, how was it? Wait, why? Why did you ask me a question that you didn't know the answer to? To put it nicely. Yeah, he's going to say that it's terrible, and that's going to be the secret, is that he's a bad chef. It was inedible. Hey, don't worry about being nice around me, pal. You and I both know the reason that place is so empty because of the food. Oh, okay. I mean, the place is clean, and he's got a girl like Maggie as a waitress, so... Yeah, I guess it's probably the food. Real scoop on the guy is he's up to his ears in debt. Really? How much does he owe? This is a copy of his loan contract. He's about half a million in the red. Holy shit. This well, is I an episode of Kitchen Nightmares. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> half a million? Are we talking dollars? Yeah. Oh, rubles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, is... If it was Sterling, he'd be he'd really be in trouble. What is this like? <laughs> Who is talking yeah. about ster like pound sterling? Like the the exchange rate for gold has really gone up, pal. <laughs> you should look into investing. He's about to tell us to buy gold. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that figure just took me by surprise. Yeah, this case is full of surprises. It was one of them. <laughs> and I'd be willing to bet that chef's got something to do with most of them. That's my hunch. Oh, great. We have a copy of his loan contract. I'm pretty sure it is illegal for us to just have. Probably, yeah. The owner of the loan is the Tender loan is Lender. Tender Lender. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Copy. That's a little weird. Uh, I wonder if he's back at the place now. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, maybe not. Oh, just me. Damn it. He's not in here? No, okay. Huh. Uh, I guess we'll go check the park. It's yeah, I guess. Uh, the only other yeah, place. The park. Yep. Hey, oh, oh look, shit. a scoot! Oh shit, here it scoot. is. Here it comes, folks. <clears throat> hmm, the old guy's not here anymore. Drat. And I still have some unanswered questions for him. Oh, do we have to examine the scooter? I mean, I have to, there's gotta be something, right? A scooter, I mean, huh? Yeah, at least please examine the scooter. Who'd leave it right here in the middle of the park like this? The wheel guard and the light are busted. I guess it must have been an accident. It's totally wrecked. Oh boy. Uh, oh, my <laughs> oh my god. It's so wrong. I'm glad Yeah, that was a lot of Oz. I'm glad I didn't try to actually do that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh I wait, was... wait, 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 there's still question marks here. Are we gonna do this? I mean, he's right here, we know. Hey, what do you think you's doing with my bike? <laughs> okay, whenever he does speak, I do have a question about this. Oh, do we want what? him to be more higher in my register like Phoenix, because they sound somewhat similar but he has an accent, or just completely different, like, low-voiced Brooklyn guy? Like, I'm coming think... down here, I'm fucking talking to you like this. Yeah, I, I do, do that. Okay. Do that. Zach, do whatever feels right. <laughs> yeah, do what, you, do what you want. Okay, King Kieran says, make him Gengar. Ka -ka! Ka -ka! <laughs> 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 hey, what do you think you was doing with my bike? No, I, I was just... Grr! You's been messing with my new ride? Is that what you's been doing? New ride? Isn't it kind of an old? God, you're gonna, you's gonna pay for this. It, it wasn't me, <laughs> I was just passing by. Hey, then who's the one that covered my saddle in crap, huh? Ah, uh, you's gonna pay, you catch my drift? No, w wait a sec, I'm not a pigeon, I couldn't have done it. A wise guy, eh? Oh, that's a creepy face. I ought to beat you so hard, it'll feel like you was smooching the express train. 
like you got run over by the hype train. <laughs> uh oh. You better watch your back. This ain't over. I'm gonna run up a group of lawyers and then you's gonna pay. Uh, actually, I'm a lawyer myself. What do you say? I'm Phoenix Wright, attorney at. <laughs> Phoenix Wright. You saying you, Phoenix Wright? Uh, yeah, I am. So you a wise guy too, huh? Cause I'm Phoenix Wright. Uh, the one and only. What? Out of my way, I got a cruise. I'm cruise. <laughs> Explosion behind him as he drives. <laughs> Maya, next time we see that guy, shit on his bike. <laughs> <laughs> do what you do to my toilets, Maya. <laughs> Swing home, Maya. Swing for the fences, <laughs> That's Maya. what it is, you're right. He's gone. Surely that guy wasn't my phony. Was he? Oh, Phoenix. He wasn't he anything was. like me. <laughs> <sighs> Guess I better make note of the scooter. That's what you're making note of? Not the fucking guy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is guy. Ah! I think. Oh, it's you few threats from a little brat like that. And you look like a pigeon that's got seeds in its eyes. Have that you is... been here the whole time then? I was in that strawberry. I had some thinking to do. More like you had some cowering to do. <laughs> uh, hey, you went to the restaurant because you're a creepy perv, right? Are you a regular oh. at that restaurant, sir? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that if you dislike it so much, why would you keep going there? Sir? Hey, you filthy pigeons! You want food? <laughs> Take that! Hey. Lock number two. <laughs> The, the smoke weed thing came right at the end there, which is perfect timing. <laughs> his real, his, his secret is that he smokes weed every day. <laughs> I knew it. This old guy's got something to hide. But what could it be? That he smokes weed every day? <laughs> <laughs> uh, CJ, I'm cheered a bit saying, did he just imply that Phoenix took a shit on his scooter? Yeah, it's obviously bird shit. I don't know why he blamed Phoenix for it. Uh, <laughs> let's see what this jerk needs to break his Magatama. If we have it or not. I hope so. I think it's the only thing we can do right now. Yeah. <clears throat> it's time you told me the truth. Why are you a regular at a restaurant you dislike so much? Isn't it obvious? Guy doesn't have a name yet. No, he doesn't. You will only have one reason to go to restaurants to eat. To eat? Is that the whole truth? What do you mean? I don't think you go to that restaurant for the food at all. You insolent brat! How dare you accuse me? What proof have you got? I can tell that not you nor anyone else in the world would go to that place for its food. Because of this bicycle. I'll present the food. Yeah, it's... <laughs> present the fact that the food sucks. They have food right here. Eat it, it. The proof is in the pudding. Or in this case, the lunch menu. The lobster with the... abalone. With abalone. <laughs> with a piece Picasse. of bologna. I love how he's like, <gasps> That's the twin tea set. Never also, forget. I like the idea that Phoenix just pulls out a plate of French fruit out of his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> the food at Trebian is terrible and expensive. And I bet you're poor. <laughs> Wrong. It's cheap. Huh? I'm rich. I inherited money when I was a boy. Yes, I am stinking rich. I haven't done a jot of work since I was born. Other than feeding the pigeons. What a load of crock! 
Couldn't say that better. Taste another Listen. story, but the price, <laughs> it's nothing to me. So, you're saying that you go there because you've got money to burn? Exactly. I have so much cash, I go for a swim in my money vault every day. Okay, Scrooge McDuck. Hey, you please fucking insert, Scrooge McDuck. Can you please insert, like this, like a hurricane. I will but, do that. Uh, With his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put his face over Scrooge oh, McDuck totally, jumping totally. into the... Yes, thank you. <clears throat> Unfortunately, that's a lie. What? You don't have money to burn. You're flat broke. Oh, because he was looking for a job. Oh, he's looking oh, yeah, for a yeah. job. Yeah. Uh, also, take about get to the Dang, this is thing. this is sad. We're I bullying do feel this really old bad. Man. Yeah. <laughs> we're just like, yeah, he's kind of a crotchety old bogey, but we're just bullying him now. <laughs> yeah. Good. You should always bully old people. <laughs> Wise words from Pridge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> This is yours, right? My magazine. Why would a rich retiree be looking for a job? Maybe he's just uh, bored. I was... Yeah, so what? Oh, I was looking for a job. I'm buying a lot at the moment. I need spending money. Oh? I don't go to that restaurant for food. I just go for the Javachino. Yeah. I think you mean a cappuccino. Anyway, how much does a cappuccino cost there? Eight dollars. Jesus Christ. This had better be some golden beans. Some golden beans. <laughs> golden beans. Golden beans. What's your problem? You think a poor man would be better off drinking dishwater, do you? Is that it? What? No, I wasn't thinking that. I was wondering if the coffee there is really that great. No, it's not. But, but anyway, yes, that place has free newspapers to read every day. Newspapers? Exactly. They don't want me hanging around at home, so I go there. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, sir, but there are no free newspapers to read at Travian. <laughs> uh... What's the... Uh, is... uh... What does the Schwartz paper say? Yeah. Uh... I mean, uh, I don't know. If I it... mean, that's the only thing I can think oh, of. Oh, it was it left by the claim... victim. He brought it with him. Yeah, oh, well. okay. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Almost, Phoenix. Take a look at this. What is it? It's a newspaper I found behind the magazine rack at Trebian. So, what of it? This was the only paper there, and it's dated more than one month ago. What? Do you see what I'm getting at here? The restaurant doesn't get newspapers. This is just one that a customer happened to leave behind. Uh, uh. Tell me, why are you so determined to hide the truth? I'm not hiding anything. I'm going to have to put this guy out of his misery. What? <laughs> Let's, I'm going to have to Phoenix pull just the pulls plug out on this guy. Phoenix, don't. This is not the time to resort to violence. <laughs> Sorry, old man. Now that I've embarrassed this man as a liar, it's time to finish the job. You're too finish. poor and too old. <laughs> finish him. There's only there's one thing I hate more than old people. It's poor people. Poor old <laughs> poor, poor old people. <laughs> Listen. He the... believes in euthanasia. Oh my god. <laughs> the real reason why you go so, go so much to train BN is I mean You're pervert. Uh, I, I'm assuming Maggie. Yeah, right? present Maggie, yeah. Yeah, he, he's just an old pervert. <laughs> what are you asking me about that that girl for? Okay. Sorry. Oh, is Magnus not doing well? I, he's shaking like he heard something like a storm's happening, but there's nothing going on. She was the waitress at Trebiet. Uh. Therefore, the answer to the mystery of why an old man would drink expensive coffee at a ter terrible restaurant is the waitress. 
uh, but I don't recognize that face. And you are probably telling the truth here. Because you weren't looking at the girl's face. Whoa! Yo! Fucking got him. God damn. But at her outfit, sure. Okay, That's the PG yeah. exchange there. But yeah. at her boobies. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. But at her isn't lovely it? lady lumps. Check him out. You became a regular at the restaurant because of the waitress's uniform. That uniform is all you can think about, isn't it? Uh, uh, <clears throat> I can't take it. To you, that waitress was your... What? Enough, please! No more! What was he gonna say? I don't want to know. Stop saying that word! Stop saying waitress! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh. Uh. Baby, what's the matter? You okay? Uh, sir. If it's true, I was there for the young girl. I saw a dirty, wicked, sinful old devil. Oh, God. No, no, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, I did. I, I even get one of those lousy cups of Java Cheeto every time for eight dollars. Oh, because of the serving girl. Punish me. Lock me up. I mean, I'll lock you up, sure. Really, that's not what I'm here for. That's what Detective Gumshoe's here for. It'll be the same. Another 20 years and you'll be un and you'll understand what it's like. <laughs> what? Do you get old and become hornier or something? Is that what this is supposed yeah. to mean? Yeah. Yes. Yep. <laughs> you'll know how painful it is to be an old man like me. No, really. Listen, please stop. Stop calling me that. I have a name, you know, boy. So show some respect, hmm? I'm Victor Kudo. So is it like Victory Kudos? Is that what they're going for? Maybe? I have not. Where's Giant Penguin at? Somebody in the chat's going to tell us what the name is supposed to be. Uh, sorry. Mr. Kudo. You young ones think you know it all, don't you? Well, I'm not saying another word. I won't tell you anything more. This guy was in the restaurant at the time of the incident, which means I have to hear his testimony one way or another. <clears throat> I don't believe this. <clears throat> I even broke his psych lock and everything. I guess I'll have to try and get him when he's in a better mood. Excuse oh. me, sir. Yeah, this is... Present uh... Maggie's profile to him? Oh, yeah. Well, he might talk about Maggie now. <clears throat> oh. oh. Hey, wow. Okay. Dang. kind of surprised they don't just have, like, anything prepared for that. Well, oh, wait. Oh, Did we just we... talked about Glen Elg, because he was there that day. Uh... Oh, no. Yeah. Nope. He's, he's shut down on us completely. Damn. Okay. Uh, yeah, go back. Did we just get his profile? So we might be able to present his profile to people. Uh, we did. Yeah, because I don't think... Yeah, so we might be able to present his profile to somebody. We can't talk to Maggie at the detention center, right? No. No, uh, we could present it to Maya. Oh, oh fuck. I know. people are saying we need to go get Maya. Oh... Oh, that because sucks. she's in. Yeah. Wah, wah. Hey, there's a pervert. <clears throat> Come help us talk to him. Oh, it's that old man. Is he still feeding the pigeons? Yeah, he fed me as well. I got a bunch of those seeds in my eyes. Ooh, <laughs> I didn't think I've done anything about it. There's just seeds all over its face. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, ouch. Hey, Maya, would you mind coming with me for a while? 
Yeah, sure. Let me just go change. <laughs> actually, no, my. No, um, actually. It's really, it's really <laughs> urgent. You gotta come just, just really quick. <laughs> huh? Me? Why? There's something I really want to ask that old man. Sure, okay. Oh my god! I'll no. just get changed! No, hang on. Can't oh my you god. Go like that? I guess. Oh my god. We have to go god. take advantage of a horny old man. He made the joke for us, folks. Yeah, they really did. We made the joke for them. Mm hmm Um, sir. You again. Uh -huh. mm. Well, well, I see. <laughs> uh, Nick, his eyes are burning into me. This sucks. It's okay. I think it's going pretty well. Do you, Phoenix? <sighs> ah. Huh? You're still just a little child. Run along and play on the slide, all right? Oh, no, I, I do remember what they do here now. Play on the slide? Ugh, we were so close. Just a little more and he would have spilled. Pigeon. How can we crack this guy? Crack his skull um, open. excuse me, please, sir. Swedish man? It's Swedish guy. It's Swedish guy in the outfit. Quiet! Can't you see I'm feeding the bridge? The bridge. Oh. Yep, they do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At least now that she's older, it's like better in that aspect, but it still no, sucks. It sucks. This, this it is sucks. The whole... Mia's still yeah. under 30 and this guy's 65. Yeah, it yeah. sucks. Well. <laughs> I hate it. You don't mind, sir. I'd really love to talk with you. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, of course. God. Certainly. I'm Victor. Victor Kudo. <laughs> Even from beyond the grave. Wow. I mean, <laughs> Phoenix, your boss was hot, so... God damn it. That's true. She is hot. About the incident? You mean, uh, the man who died after drinking the Javuccino? He's like he's a different person. It was he's quite like a shock, a even for me. He was a strange-looking boy. The girl took the Javuccino over to him, you see. <clears throat> and was the customer alone? Definitely. He was the only person at the table. And he took one sip of his Javuccino and... And? And he said something like, Aah! and then collapsed. And... Oh, how terrifying. You're so good at listening, aren't you? God. I'll tell you anything. Whatever you want to know. <laughs> he certainly seems to be telling the truth now. It looks like the Mr. Truth, Kudo did The didn't... whole truth and nothing but the horny truth. Yeah. <laughs> Power of boobs compels you. But it looks like Mr. Kudo didn't see this other man either. Honestly, but he's, I think, the least terrible of all the perverts. I mean, he's certainly better than Hottie, but like... Yeah, I mean, I that's the better than bar. Salmonella, too. Yeah... I would, I would take uh, him over Sal. I don't know, man. How old is Maggie? Uh, I think she's, she's like 23. 20. Yeah. 23, yeah. She's 23. I mean... Is he better than Sal? Yeah, because Sal was hitting on Maya when she was 17. Yeah, they all just I guess you're right. You'd like the food at Trevian? Well, of course. I'm really quite a sophisticated man. I was a young businessman once, you know. I set up a casino in London. That's true. Really? How interesting. Eating the food in that restaurant really takes me back to my days in France. 
What a lovely story. London's in England, not France. Oh, yes, uh, France is wonderful. I'd love to show you around the city sometime. It's, it's too much. I can't take it. I want France. Sir? <laughs> I can't believe Mia's laughing at the guy. Really? You visit Trebian a lot, don't you? Of course! I mean, yes. I'd like to come and see you there. <laughs> really? Oh, you're so flattering. Donor would be delighted to welcome you, I'm sure. Careful of that chef, my dear. The, the chef? You mean Mr. Armstrong? That's right. A man's an ex-con. He... he's an ex-con? The plot thickens. Mm. Whatever did Mr. Armstrong do? Oh no! Those eyes! I can't take this! He has really got this guy eating out of her hand. He steals things from his customers. From his customers? Oh, oh yeah, he stole our oh, yeah. Oh wow, yeah. Gloves, handkerchiefs, little things mainly. He's a pilferer. You be careful around him, my dear. You sure about this? Of course. He was arrested for it once. I was there when it happened, having my cappuccino. He really is a regular. Let me write you a little haiku about it. What is up with poems in this case? A uh, haiku? Japanese poem. Explain all you need to know about that chef. Oh, he genuinely oh. really did write it down. Okay. All right. If he takes anything again, you let me know. If it's not too expensive, I'll, I'll buy you a replacement. Poor Aren't guy. You poor? You couldn't do enough for Mia. <clears throat> no, don't don't feel sorry for this man. Okay, Phoenix. That's about as much as I can do to help. Thanks, Mia. We got some really important information thanks to you. Honestly, I can't believe Maya called me for something like this. Also, hey, that confirms that uh, Maya can call Mia at, at, at will now. Yeah. yeah, he's getting better. And Maya's smart enough to acknowledge that her sister's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Convicted. my sister has legs for days. <laughs> Convicted before a wicked man or woman, repeat offender, Victor Kuda. Now, yeah, that's kind of I. They had like first is. line, last line, great. <laughs> Middle line, come on, game. Come on. Uh, hey, come on, I, Japan. I bet he's back. Oh no. Oh wow. Where did you change? <laughs> Guess it's about time to wrap up today's investigation. In the strawberry. Oh, God. <laughs> Had enough of being a waitress? Yeah. Plus, no one came to the restaurant. Well, to be fair, you did also leave the restaurant for a period of time. <laughs> Ooh la la! Mademoiselle Maya. No! How can you leave me like this? I'm sorry. That reminds me. Mr. Armstrong had a psych lock or three, didn't he? I'm gonna have to break those. Mr. Armstrong, I hope you won't mind, but I'd like to have another word with you. Valon, yeah, of course. Mm, take this. Isn't that the thing I stole from you? Oh, she. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I do. Oh, like this, this animation is good. <laughs> what is happening? I do not like this horrible feeling. I have to know the truth. What happened that day? French, huh? <laughs> no, oh, no. I will confess everything. 
Don't out me! Huh? Well, that was a new world record. It was a lottery ticket. A lottery ticket? The man who died here had a lottery ticket. Half a million dollars. Half a million? Oui. But after the incident, this ticket... disappeared. The ticket disappeared? This was the motive that the prosecution gave for Maggie. They said that she poisoned the man to get the half a million dollar lottery oh. ticket. I mean, this is so, like... Is it this obvious? I don't remember it being this obvious. Why didn't you tell me about this sooner? Me, hello. You've been trying to hide this information about the lottery ticket from me. And I want to know the reason why. No, monsieur. You doubt me. But I have confessed to you everything I know. Mr. Armstrong, the half a million dollar lottery ticket. I think I know who took it. It was Maggie, like you just told me. <laughs> it was the dead guy. <clears throat> it was the dead guy. It was you. You done did it. Mr. Armstrong, I believe there is a very high probability that it was you. <laughs> wow. That is one piercing scream, even for a man like him. Mais pourquoi moi? Why? You have no evidence. I am not masked in <laughs> I am not the kind of person who steals the property of others. That's pretty good. <laughs> sorry, to dis sorry to disappoint you, Mr. Armstrong, but I have evidence to the contrary. I present to you proof that you have stolen from others in the past. Uh, or, or do we present the, our Magatama? <laughs> uh, yeah. You stole this from me, you piece. No, 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 we, you. Oh, I mean, I guess sucks. it's the hike. I that guess sucks. it's the haiku. That would have been yes, really the haiku. funny. It's the haiku. Though. I was just thinking about my lunch menu. Tarine de canard. What do you think? Th that sounds lovely. Hello. Au revoir, monsieur. I must go to buy the ingredients. I guess my evidence is a bit of a lame duck. <laughs> okay. I'm still mad that it's not the Magatama, but that's fine. <laughs> what is this? A poem? Oh, monsieur, you know me so well. I adore poems. Please, read it and put some feeling into it. That's a good, good joke. Convicted before a wicked man. A woman? Repeat offender? I'm sorry to have to bring it up, Mr. Armstrong. But you have been arrested for stealing money from your customers before, haven't you? Oh, you! Le mensonge! You are a liar! You deny it? Do not make the false accusations, s'il vous plaît. Oh, do you have any proof? I want to see the incontestable proof uh. that I have ever stolen from one of my customers. Okay, so now we Now it's the manga, that's, that's a bummer, but okay, it's uh. fine. It seems old habits die hard, Mr. Armstrong. Oh, oh baby, please. <laughs> Sorry. I was crushing your, your Magatamas right now. No, no, he stepped on the, the cord that the microphone's attached to. Uh, okay, okay. What is that? That was funny, by the way. Your little Magatama. Uh, <laughs> this is my Magatama. <laughs> don't show him that. I don't want to see that. <laughs> and I found it in your kitchen. No! Wow, that scream just about broke some windows. We, we. I have a weakness for the little trinkets and the figurines. My hand, it just slips out. I cannot stop it. You've stolen handkerchiefs, gloves, and other things from your customers, right? Oui, it is the truth. I am just a timid little girl inside, monsieur. A timid little girl. 
Besides, this time it was not a small trinket, oui? It was five hundred thousand dollars. Man, no! Why would I steal it? I have no need for such money. So what he just said was, okay, but I only steal small things. I would never steal a piece of paper worth <laughs> half a million dollars. Uh -huh. That's such a dog shit argument. Even if it, we're it, about it, to prove... it, it, ain't, it, it ain't the banger of a defense he seems no. to think it is. <laughs> <laughs> really now. Oh, monsieur? What is it? Isn't it true that you're some that you're that isn't it true that you're in some pretty serious trouble? And that you are desperate that you are in desperate need of a large amount of cash. Well, I didn't even ask. It's just obvious. Yeah. Uh, this restaurant is deep in the red, isn't it? Uh. You have a loan to the tune of half a million dollars. I love I love that phrase, saying things that are to the tune of something. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Brad. That lottery ticket would have wiped out your debts. <laughs> well, Mr. Armstrong... What do you have to say for yourself now? Uh, ah! oh, God, that, that shriek. My health bar. Get back. Now oh, seeing him scream in pain made me feel so much better. Again, it's buck wild that we're this far into the case and we have to ask this guy what the motive was in a case that we should just be able to look up the record to, but nobody else will uh -huh. fucking tell us. Mr. Yes. Armstrong, you said that the victim had a winning lottery ticket for half a million dollars. How did you know that he had something like that in the first place? The man, he was listening to the radio with, in, with his earpiece. Hmm. But the scouter. <laughs> Maggie said something about that too. The winning number was announced on the news, I think. All of a sudden, exploded. Yes, half a million, he shouted. And the ticket. He, he had all of his tickets spread out on the table. I, I was so desperately in need of money, so I... Put the poison in his coffee? No, 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 no! Oh, no, you naughty man! I simply helped myself to one of his tickets. What? The victim collapsed and Maggie passed out. I thought to myself, Quoi pas? He had so many of them. Yeah, but only one of them was the winning ticket, right? How could you do that, Mr. Armstrong? Maggie was arrested because of you! No, this is not true. I did not take it. Let's take it for half a million, I mean. But you just told us you did. You said you took a ticket. Mais non, ma fille. It was not... That's enough. Huh? Ah! God damn it. Mr. Godot! What in the heck are you doing here? I need me a javachino. <laughs> <laughs> I heard this place makes shit coffee. <laughs> this is without a doubt the worst coffee I have ever tasted. There you go. <laughs> he came in here for coffee? Does this craving for coffee know no bounds? Players subsist on justice. Me. All I need is a cup of joe. Perhaps Mr. Armstrong stole one of the victim's tickets on the day in question. I am La Airhead, no? Just a pretty little girl who everyone is laughing at. In that case, Maggie shouldn't be the only one under suspicion. He had the wrong ticket. What? Mr. Armstrong made off with the winning ticket's pretty neighbor. So, oh, the ticket he took was worthless? Not quite. He did win something. A dollar. That's funny. You see? I am just a pretty face. Without my looks, I have nothing. So, 
what happened to the winning ticket then? Just asking for a friend. The one he meant to steal. <laughs> Indeed. What did happen to it? I don't like spoiling myself by watching trailers, so... We'll just wait and see how the movie turns out tomorrow, won't we? Now, in this case, my, my question is, would the person who turned this in immediately be a huge suspect for this whole thing? If, right, right. Oh, by the way, Godot, uh, Snape kills Dumbledore. God fucking damn it, right? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Bud was the sled. Fuck, right, stop it. <laughs> oh, he's spoiling all the... Tr stop spoiling everything. It stops spoiling all the movies, right? <laughs> Uh, voila, you too! Time to laugh at the pretty little airhead! Looks like I won't be needing this note anymore. Oh, okay, well, here we go. It's thrown yeah, into the bye. trash. Bye, note. Looks like we've got a mystery now. Namely, where did the winning ticket go? I've got a bad feeling about this. You always do. Well, all right, fucking Han anyway, Solo. Yeah. We can't let Maggie suffer any longer for this. And certainly not again. I mean, she's been in jail for a month. Yeah, man, that's kind of rough. Damn, we finished this really early. Yeah, we uh, crushed it. That's great, because my okay. throat hurts like hell. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we, we should stop then. Take care, hey. everybody. Have a good night, night. everyone. Have a great Hello, rest everyone. of your weed weed number day. <laughs> and people are saying feel better soon, Bridge. So thank you. Yes. Uh, Soapy, I I do the crazy bit today. <laughs> Fuck these birds. Fucking hate birds. Die, birds. You belong in this world. <laughs> Foul birds. So, something about this guy feels off. Oh really? Was it the sexism or the animal abuse that gave it away? No. I mean, how come he gets a nose in this art style and we don't? <laughs> yeah, that's so really good. Fucks up with that. Where's my nose? <laughs> Soapy, give us a nose, please. Where's, where's, where's our nose? Noses? Let me smell, please, Soapy. Trucy was playing some video games after a long show, and I thought it'd be fun to draw her. Hell yeah. Trucy, Trucy, Phoenix brought Trucy that switch. You gotta love it. Yeah, baby. Uh, and James, oh shit, this Francisco one, also very cool. Fuck yeah. Ooh. Yeah, crushing it with the lighting all around, James. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Gone Apologist, here's Susato's, Susato's a trade bien waitress. Might do this, might do Iris and Holmes too when I have the time to, hopefully. Oh, uh, cute. Yeah. I love that. I love that. That's, the, that's the, adorable. The fate, we drew the face. Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Witch Tower. Oh, my God. This high Maggie. <laughs> be honest with you, sir, I left the force because of the violent, systematic oppression of minorities through the escalation of misdemeanor drug offenses to violent felony charges via the three-strike bill in the 1990s. Super predator propaganda is simply not a vibe. Sir, Mr. Armstrong likes me coming to work absolutely zonked because I get him discounts on his poppers. Not the discounts on poppers, Witch Tower. That's amazing, hey, man. Though. Holy shit. I like base Maggie. Ha Spoiler Chat has a question to ask us. Does Cosmo have big titties or not? This has been a topic of discussion for weeks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I think so. Probably, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cosmo's Cosmo's pretty stacked. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'd have Absolutely. to lean towards yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I do love uh, this. No, this what the actual fuck are you doing? Put my face in those mummy milkers, Cosmo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kale did some little Klopala do this because I do what I want. Fuck yeah. You can get a hell yeah for this. This is clean as shit. Yeah, these are great. <laughs> uh, we all f Yo, not only is it Weed Phoenix, but it's a Kirby tie. Hell yeah. That's so good. <laughs> also, fuck, this oh, next shit. one is so good. Mouth, mouthful of mouthful Kirby. Mouthful mode. <laughs> <Phoenix. Kirby Sanders. laughs> mouthful Double mode Phoenix. lawyer. God fuck, damn it. That's so good. That's hilarious. Val... <laughs> God damn it. Holy crap, Lois, it's the great detective. God yeah. oh, damn it. That's so good. <laughs> and then that one of them just really falls good. over instantly dead. And they do that sound effect. <laughs> oh, God. That's incredible, Val. 
Uh, Jin, making oh. this took actual years off my life. Holy shit. It's so oh. fucking good, though. Yeah. God damn. This is wow. awesome. Yeah, yeah. The sunflowers, again, the imagery with that is fucking clean. The notes behind him, the hat, which I'm assuming is a reference to Gregory Idris' hat, the horns. Ah, uh, that's awesome. Banger. Chrono Wizard. Hopefully I get more stuff done for later, but in the meantime, I made a comic based on the highlight. Uh, on the highlight stream the other day. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, um, Tim, where's the trailer? Oh, shoot. <laughs> One year ago. Back in the trailer again? <sighs> Sorry, guys. I thought I fixed that. Never mind that, Zach. Look, it's us from the past. <laughs> Look at this enlarged photograph. <laughs> so this episode is brought to you by Chili's, or was it Chevy? <laughs> You're in contempt of court, you fuck nugget. <laughs> I'm not a wet noodle bottom. <laughs> and then me. There's a the oh, lot man. of face. The, the, yeah, the lot of face as well. Oh man, the courtroom's the courtroom's lighting did not help me at all. It's my signature green V-neck. <laughs> <laughs> Still got it. Fucking amazing. Yeah. Fish sticks. Maya with ramen and burger. Drawn oh, during my French this is so cute. Oh yeah. This is this really is so cute. cute. Yeah. Uh, ben. I love that. With. Oh boy, time to go down the fruity slide. I sure hope this doesn't awaken anything in me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, Dawn's on Happy 420 and Ode to the Original Ace Attorney character who blazed it. Uh, yeah. This is she really was good, the first actually. Place. Yeah, this really looks, looks great. Really the first. <laughs> uh, what's her name again? Uh, B. Vasquez. B. D. Vasquez. Scholar D. of the Vasquez. first blaze it. You just said B. Vasquez <laughs> first, Jesus. Scholar of the first blaze. <laughs> uh, Vanilla Bean. <laughs> Tigger. Uh, I love Maggie. Yo, this Maggie's so cute. And she's got the bologna on her tray. She's got the sea bologna. <laughs> bologna of the sea. It's super cute. Hell yeah. Uh, Yane Love, I drew this a long time ago, but it's relevant again. I am Mia Faye. I died when I was 27, far too young. But I still work to help my friends. My sister is channeling me. She must need my help. Mia! I will do what I can to aid her. Oh, I guess I'm helping them with my immense power of boobs. <laughs> it do be like that. It do God be bless like you, that. Mia. Oh, yo, Plum with my tweet, my three, tw my three Twitch streamers, and yes, they smoke weed. Fuck yeah! That's A incredible. reference to the my three weed smoking girlfriends. Fuck yeah! <laughs> That's so good. Casual Arson had to join in the weed day fun. Oh no, these edibles ain't shit. Fuck. Yeah, been there. Oh shit! Hey, Whoa. the Herlock gnome. That was so fast. <laughs> that was holy very fast. shit. Also, really good. Damn. Yeah. Wow. Herlock gnome yeah. is the fastest pencil pen, in the west. Yeah, pencil in the west. Holy shit. Uh, 